Welcome back to Pirate Studios. This is take six. <laughs> I, I went through heck to try to get this uh, video done. <laughs> I think I finally figured it out. <laughs> um, I wasn't getting any sound on my uh, capture audio. Anyway, it was a nightmare. Anyway, I initially wanted to do a complete unboxing and everything of this guitar, but it's been a couple of days. Well, it's been like a day and uh, lots of hours of fighting but I finally figured it out uh, all my audio problems. So um, I'm just gonna tell you uh, what I think about this thing and we're gonna let you hear it. So right out of the box, I picked it up and I thought this is, this is a good balanced guitar. Um, it's it, it doesn't have really neck dive and that's probably because it's a neck through. Um, I actually don't have any guitars that are neck through, I don't think. Yeah, no, maybe my SG, but um, I, don't, I think it's probably glued, probably glued glued in. But everything else I own is a bolt-on, so this is the first one. Um, so yeah, I immediately thought that it, it, the balance was good. Now the first thing that I noticed um, was the neck. The neck is um, it's not the width that is that was. You know, kind of different to me, but um, it was the how wide this is um, compared to my other seven string. See how much wider that is. I've been playing this. I've been, I've had this washburn for. I've had this washburn since high school. It was a pawn shop find. Um, and it had stickers and stuff all over it. And uh, my dad, my dad's a painter, and uh, he took it and uh, got all the. I guess I guess he used goo gone. I'm not sure, but uh, got all the stickers off and got the paint job looking great again. And uh, he didn't paint it or anything, but yeah. Um, and since then, I've put that JB pickup in it because the pickup that was in it was super muddy. And the only time it actually sounded any good was if you put it through like a. A real amp if you put it in any amp sims it just super muddy so i i took that thing out of there and put a jb um seymour duncan jb in it and i'm gonna do a comparison between this pickup and that jb surprising results um so look out for that i'm gonna do that video um but yeah um so i also I, I so I, I got used to that. I've gotten used to that pretty quick. And what I did was I I think this this came with eight. They were either tens, they were at least tens, or elevens. The strings were huge, and uh, I guess if you were going to tune down to drop A or lower, then that may be fine. But um, I don't really play. I this is in B. So everything pretty much is tuned up except the top string is in drop B. So um, you're actually adding more tension. So what I did was I I, I changed the strings because I like to play with nines. That's what's on my other seven strings, nines. So um, Diderio, hmm, that's what I use is Diderio. So I changed these to nines and um, I adjusted the truss rod and I got it good enough um it's it's not the slinkiest thing in the world um but it's it's pretty slinky um the tuners so these are locking i guess i guess technically they're called locking tuners um these tighten up they, they they're not loose or anything they're really tight um and what you put the string through and then this tightens up up against the string to lock it um, right here so if you don't do the the locking string wrap technique that I've showed in a previous video that I learned which I still did that but you can you don't even have to do that and you lock them so I've had I tune I, since I've tuned this it's been it's been well over 24 hours and it's sat in a rat in my rack um, and I picked it up and it's still in perfect tune so that's you can't ask for any more than that I mean um, the pots feel good. They're smooth. Um, now, I will say, 
it could have been my interface when I, but I've never had that problem before. But I guess there's a first time for everything. Let me know in the comments if you had this trouble. I, I'm really thinking that it was the pot or something to do with the electronics. When I first plugged this into my computer, it had tons of static noise coming out of, out of the pickup. And it was as loud as the guitar signal itself. And I, I was like, what is going on here? And it would not stop. And that was take one of my review. And uh, so that was pretty aggravating. So that was take one down. Uh, so I unplugged and plugged into my real amp and it didn't do that. Um, now I did notice, and it may be because this is an active pickup. This is the first guitar I've ever had that's got an active pickup. So that might be why. It's got the high pitched kind of feedback sound into the real amp. Like if your pots are crappy, um, but I, I don't have that on any of my other guitars, even with stock crappy pickups. So it must just be because it's active. But then again, like I said, I really don't know. Um, but it sounds great. These this these pickups are, are why I are one of the big reasons why I uh, wanted this guitar. I watched Resington's. Uh, he has a video, he has not one of these, but he has a six string baritone. And it's it's literally the same guitar, except it's six string and it's a baritone scale. But it's the same pickups and it, he was in like drop G, uh, drop G uh, sharp and it just sounded killer. Um, so I, I, was, I was like, wow, that's killer. And I needed a new seven string because I've had this for a long time, but ever since I've had it, it's had a twisted neck. And so the truss rod is adjusted as tight as it can go. Um, and, uh, but even though, even though it's as tight as it can go, you know, without breaking the E string touches the frets. So, and it can't, it just can't be fixed. The only, it, it, it's never going to play any better because of that. You know, if you have a, if your neck is twisted, if your neck is twisted, then and you're, you're turning the truss rod, you're only moving, all you're gonna do is move the location where the strings are touching. You're only gonna move it. So it was adjusted and for the bottom string where it's touching and this is as good as it's ever gonna be. So I needed to upgrade for that reason. And uh, so this was for the, for the, I don't know, for the price, I, I guess. Uh, it, uh, it's definitely, I don't know, it seems it seems to have been worth it. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't see, I've seen other videos where people were talking about, like, dings and stuff on the side of the fretboard. Or the frets not being filed down. Um, either either they talked about that on this, this guitar or the six-string baritone. I'm not seeing any of that. It This seems flawless to me. Um... And obviously, I'm not sponsored and nothing. I don't, I don't make a penny off of anything that I do on this channel, except my only patron that I have and some of the tips that I've gotten. This is just because um, there's not a ton of review videos on this, so I wanted to do one. Okay, uh, yeah, so it came with a Harley Benton 9 volt in it, and uh, it was hot, so that's what I left in there. <laughs> Um, they, they also have, they come with two other colors. They have a green, green and white, well, green and gray, and then a red and gray. I wanted to gr get green initially because green's my favorite color, but this ti the tiger stripes look really fake on the green. So, um, that leads me to believe that this is just a print and this isn't really wood. Uh, it could be, but I don't think so. So um, I went and got this darker color, so it looks more real. It doesn't look as fake. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a really nice guitar. It's it, it's it's really nice. I don't I don't know where it's let's see where it's from. It says okay, it says made in Indonesia, which is it's so weird. It's made in Indonesia and then going to Germany to Harley Benton in Germany and then coming to the U.S. <laughs> All right, let's hear what it sounds like. I'm gonna play some dirty, 
and I'm going to let you hear the clean too. So um, I got a preset. Let's go over here to the computer here. I got a preset that I made. Um, seven string rhythm. I'm, I'm using the... I need to turn the gain up. Seems like I uh, added... I was messing with this last night. Yeah, okay, that's on. Well, no wonder. Okay, great. So it's the uh, stock IRs. And uh, I just tweaked the amp and then added an overdrive pedal. There's nothing going on here. Let me know if you want this preset. Uh, I mean, it's, you, you can drag these any preset into the preset folder and um, play it in yours. <laughs> So that noise that you just heard is from my interface and the electricity in the room. And you can get rid of it with that, which is free. Grab Denoiser if you don't have it, because you need it. Great. Sounds great. Um, the tone knob, it's not a super dark tone knob. I'll turn it down. If I, I'll play with it and I'll turn it down. You can hear it. It doesn't really affect it a whole lot. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a, it's not really a super dark tone knob. Like the SG tone knob is like super dark. <laughs> Tony Iomi freaking use turn this tone knob down on uh, end of the void and you can tell. All right, um let's check it out, man. Delay. So sexy. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what else we got here. Uh, I'm just, I want to try a different clean preset here. Something that's got some more body and stuff. Post shredding, man. 
Doom Slam. No, that's definitely not. Uh... Yeah, it's uh, it sounds great. Um, it's a great guitar, so I highly recommend it. Um, I also heard stuff from Glenn Fricker. Um, said he was doing some secret. He's been doing secret buying from Harley Benton. He he got a Harley Benton guitar and it was junk. Had a bunch of electrical problems, so that was what made me think of that. So anyway, but yeah, ever since that happened, just the truss rod changed the strings to smaller strings. It's great. It's a great guitar, so yeah, I highly recommend it. it good quality, I can't say anything bad about it, really. I mean, it's just great. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you stuck around this this long, I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, if you wanna see that video of the comparison of the JB versus the EMG, by the way, these are EMG ceramic retro hot 70. Uh, pair so yeah cool see you next time